Hello friends, welcome back. My name's Ron. how are you today? Here we are once again talking about sunscreen and another sunscreen review, but this time we are deviating away from the standard mineral sunscreen review and heading back to trying out more Korean and Japanese chemical sunscreens. And today's roster we're talking about the Thank You Farmer Sun Project Water Sun Cream SPF 50 plus PA plus plus plus. This is one I've seen a little bit of hype around on Instagram from other creators. More specifically, my friend Latif Staka has actually reviewed this and talked very highly about this. Seeing him respond so positively to it and seeing how it looks on his skin, which looks amazing. So because of that, I actually bought this on sale at Yes Style back in September, and I only just recently really got around to trying it. I've been testing this out now on and off for like the last two or three weeks, and I have a few opinions on it. But before we get into it, I'm gonna ask that you hit the subscribe button and notification bell so that you know when I post more skincare, sunscreen, fancy related content on my channel. Give the video a thumbs up and down below. Have you tried this or any of the other Thank You Farmer skincare or sunscreen based products? I have little experience in the brand. I don't know a lot about it, but this is the specific sunscreen I saw a lot of hype around. So therefore it was the first thing I had to try. So looking off the claims online on Yes Style as well as Cult Beauty here in the UK, this basically claims to be a watery and lightweight sunscreen that offers SPF 50 plus and PA 3 pluses protection along with phyto, oligo, walnut oil, centella asiatica extracts, and sodium hyaluronate to keep skin moisturized and refreshed. Depending on where you get it from and what websites you're looking at, this retails anywhere from about the high teens to the low mid 20s. I think about this in style for about $18. It also claims that this applies smoothly and refreshingly, absorbs without stickiness, suffocating, and white cast. And again, referring back to Latif and his video, he specifically talked about how this is one of his favorite sunscreens for deep skin, so really no white cast. With trying it for the last few weeks on and off and trying it with different variables on it, I have a very, very firm opinion on the sunscreen already. To talk about how I've been wearing it and the application footage you're gonna see in this video, as with all my sunscreens, I apply roughly a quarter teaspoon to cover my face, my ears, and my neck, sometimes more and then I work that in for a few minutes and let it sit down for at least five minutes before going on top of it with anything else like makeup for example and since this is a chemical sunscreen review I'm gonna be using my 6F's chemical sunscreen rubric which talks about feel, finish, filters, formulation, foundation wear, and fragrance. Beyond just seeing how this looks on the skin and how makeup applies on top of it, we're also gonna be reapplying it on top of makeup. Just because one thing I love about chemical sunscreens is that they reapply really nicely and really easily on top of makeup, and that's something you really should be doing. So I like to highlight that with my chemical sunscreen videos. Let's get into it. First step's gonna be feel. What's interesting about this is that this comes out, it looks a little bit white, and it actually has a little bit more body to it. What I will say, it has more of a light lotion texture. Not really much of a gel texture, it's not that lightweight. It has a lot of emolliency to it, I find. So I say it's more of a light lotion cream texture that is very, very lightweight, as they do claim. They do themselves on the Yes Style website claim this is more of a water cream texture, but what I will say is they also say it leaves skin moisturized without a heavy or dry feeling. This has body to it. I do feel it on the face and I've used it enough times to know that this feels heavy on the skin depending on what skincare we're underneath it or what condition the weather is. So if it's warmer, this is not a nice texture necessarily. This, I do feel it on my face. But that leads me to the next part, which is the finish of it. This, as you can see, is a very radiant finish. One thing that Latif highlighted in his video was this did leave a really dewy look on the skin. And one thing that I've experienced with this is that this makes me look very, very shiny. The first time I wore this, my boyfriend saw me and he was like, what? are you wearing right now? You look like you got oil on your face. And in subsequent times that I've tried this, it's just every time, no matter what skincare I'm underneath it, whether it's a few hydrators, a few emollients, nothing but this on my skin, it leaves me very radiant and shiny. And as the day progresses, I feel like my skin gets more oily and I just, I feel it, it feels heavy on the skin. So it leaves a shine and when I say it shines, it shines. This is definitely, I think, one of the most radiant sunscreens that I've ever tested or tried out. Looking at the sunscreen filters that this utilizes, this is a Korean sunscreen. So with that, it generally should be able to utilize the more innovative, cutting edge, high photostable, photoprotective filters. It has octinoxate, homosalate, octosalate, juvenile A+, octocrylene, and titanium dioxide. The octinoxate, homosalate, octosalate, and octocrylene all highlight UVB protection. Juvenile A+, specifically, is one of the more innovative filters. It offers really high protective, very broad spectrum UVA specific coverage. Then you have the titanium dioxide. With that, I specifically don't know for sure if that is acting as a sunscreen filter, which in itself, titanium dioxide. It's more UVB, doesn't do a lot for UVA. It's not my favorite filter, necessarily. Or if it's just more of a colorant or texture thing. As you can see, there is no white cast on Latif. There is no white cast and he has much more rich skin than I do. The thing is with those, so again, a lot of the FDA filters that are in this are UVB filters. This specifically has SPF 50 plus. There's no designation specifically on what the actual SPF is, but that SPF 50 plus designates high UVB protection in itself. But then it only has three PA pluses on it. Looking at the specific advertising they have on Yes Style, they talk about the PA rating and they make it seem like PA three pluses is potentially the highest rating you can get. They don't necessarily explain that it can go up to PA four pluses. They make it seem like that PA 
three plus is very, very high. And to me, that's not necessarily the case. That's more moderate in the middle. I feel like they could have tossed in one more broad spectrum filter in this to really seal the deal with that. But for what it is, it's okay. And then for the formulation of this, this is interesting. Looking at what the Yes Style ad specifically says, they advertise a lot of things about the formulation. First and foremost, that it contains African walnut oil to help protect the skin's moisture barrier. They also advertise the phyto oligo oil coming from the safflower root and aloe extracts that help soothe skin and provide moisture, as well as acting as more of an occlusive agent to help prevent trans epidermal water loss, bamboo water, sunflower seed oil to give you some vitamin and protein to help with the skin barrier. So they have a lot of claims about ingredients, but looking at the ingredients list, I feel like there's a lot more they should really be pushing with this. First and foremost, this has centella. So you're getting soothing, you're getting antioxidants, you're getting wound healing properties from this. They also have mistletoe leaf extract, which has some soothing properties to it. And in some research, that I did. It actually has some more antioxidant properties as well. This has purslane, which I've actually mentioned in a few more of my Korean specific sunscreen videos. Purslane, plant extract that's used very commonly in Korean beauty. And it has more skin soothing, wound healing properties to it, also antioxidants. And this also has aloe in it, which again, it's one of those ingredients that acts as a really great humectant. It retains water in the skin, but also has more soothing properties as well. You also have something in this called Sacha Inchi Seed Oil, which is like the last ingredient in the ingredients list but that in itself is more of an emollient plant oil that has some linoleic acid, oleic acid, and some vitamin E. Overall, I feel like there's a lot more in this that they don't talk about that they should in terms of what the benefits this formulation can have for the skin. That centella alone could do a lot for selling this. But looking at that again, again, this does feature a little bit more oil heavy products. So this definitely goes more for a drier, normal skin type. I don't think this is very oily skin friendly. Two things to note with the formulation. First and foremost, it does feature alcohol, but that being said, alcohol is actually not normally where I would see it in a sunscreen like this, generally up in the the first few ingredients. This is a little bit down in the ingredients list. Do with that what you will. But again, has a lot of hemactins, skin soothing, antioxidant, moisturizing ingredients. I would not worry about the alcohol being a factor in this at all for drying the skin. Then on top of that, it also has fragrance and that fragrance is strong. It's not the last ingredient, I will say that. The fragrance of this to me is pleasant, but it is very, very present and it does linger for a minute. It smells very sweet, florally fruity. Specifically, I read somewhere I think it's more of an apricot scent to it, and I like the smell. I'm not complaining. I've had no adverse reactions from this. I've used this with compromised skin, and it hasn't burned at all. No irritation or inflammation as a result of that, but this does have fragrance, and this does smell, so do know that. And then let's talk about foundation wear, because for me, I love chemical sunscreens since they prep the skin nicely for makeup. Here's a tea with this that I was very weirded out by. This on bare skin to me is oily. This sits heavy on the skin. This makes my skin feel very almost drowned at times, depending on like how my skin is. But this preps the skin beautifully for makeup. I wore this today with just some of the Fenty Beauty products on top of this, the Fenty Concealer, Matchstick, and the Cream Bronzer. And my skin looks amazing. Once I set it with powder, my skin was flawless. But because this is more emollient, what this did is it added a radiance from within so that my skin looked really, really healthy. The foundation that I had on didn't even look like foundation. It looked like it was very much melted with my skin. It looked beautiful. And then throughout the day, I didn't really get oily. I didn't feel oily at all. My skin looked really, really nice. When I went in for the reap, actually, I was about eight hours into the wear test. So what you see at that initial look is eight hours of me wearing makeup, no blotting, no touch-ups with this underneath it. Now with the reapplication, because it's a little bit more rich, I was a little bit worried just because I worry with those kind of textures of it moving the makeup underneath it, but this reapplied fairly easily. I actually think I went a little bit ham with the reapplication, so I did a little bit too much. Looking at it, I don't see any issues. I think it might've removed a little bit of coverage around here, but after eight hours, I don't expect a lot of makeup to be set there, honestly. But it did add a lot of radiance to my face. So again, if you have more oily skin, normal to oily skin, you don't like a very, very radiant look, Keep some powder on hand, you'll be good, but this also doesn't look bad, so. Last F, fragrance, as I mentioned, it does have a smell, apricotty, it's florally, it's very present, it's not very faint. So overall thoughts on the Thank You Farmer sunscreen. She's cute, I don't hate it but it's very situational in how I'd want to use it. And it's very situational in who I'd recommend this for. Affordability wise, it's very in the middle. At 50 mil, 1.75 fluid ounces at $20 roughly, very mid tier. If you're into that kind of price point and this kind of sunscreen, I'd get it. The formulation for this does have a little bit going on for it in terms of soothing, but more so in terms of moisturizing. I think it's rare that I find a sunscreen that I feel is designated specifically for more dry skin types, just because I feel like everything is either really in the middle or actually works very well for oily skin, but this is moisturizing and this is not something I'd recommend for oily skin individuals. Also my friend Rashan, AKA Glow Skin Guy on Instagram also talked about this, has a whole review on it, which follow him if you haven't, just because I mentioned him a lot and he's a really great resource for sunscreen and skincare content, but he pretty much agrees with me. This is something marketed towards normal to dry skin types. If you have oily skin, you might not want to 
look at this or try it out. But he did actually really enjoy this for reapplication. I don't hate this, especially how it looked under makeup here in the winter when I think my skin needs a little bit more. I love the way it looked. I love the way my makeup wore. Would not use this in the summer. Would not even look at her in the summer. Some protection in this to me is adequate, but not amazing. Aside from that, it seems like it's very available. It's available on YesStyle and Stylevana, but also at Cult Beauty, which is very interesting. Cult Beauty is a retailer specifically here in the UK. I kind of compare it to Sephora, honestly, just because it has a lot of brands on it. So very interesting. So bottom line, I would say this is Ramon recommended if you have dry skin. And with that, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so that you know when I post more skincare, sunscreen, fancy related content on my channel. Give this video a thumbs up and down below. What are your thoughts on this? Have you tried it? Whatever your experience has been? Have you tried their other sunscreens? Because I know they have, I think, two more, and one of them is specifically for oily skin. Drop that down below. And have you tried other stuff from Thank You Farmer? Tell me the deets. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.